ladies and gentlemen, anchors of this universe to the channel. The gravity board in World of Tanks Blitz is done. My contest theodome is done. I'll be... didn't quite get the time yet to, to tell you up all the scores, but I'll, I'll get to it soon. Got a lot of good replays in the uh, Centurion uh, Mark 1, the SU-101, the T-28, uh, the Indian Panzer. People stating this is a very underrated tank, the Indian Panzer T-8. Uh, and and in, in terms of being an underrated tank, you can't really say that, in my opinion at least, uh, of this. A Kia Tonk, the uh, SCRV M slash 42. It is, it is been, it's been in the game since uh, December 2019, I think. Yeah, but after, it was announced at Tankfest this this line, obviously in Tankfest last year. And I mean, it has been in the game uh, for a few months now. And uh, this is, it's a tier five medium tank. I have played it uh, a few games before. I didn't really like it. I like the fact that it, uh, it had gun depression, it, it looked good, it has 15 degrees of gun depression, which is just excellent. But other than that, it is it, it's just so bland and, and so mediocre in all regards. It, it has got DPM, the alpha damage is 160, which is the norm for all of the tier 6 medium tech more or less. The penetration on your AP is just... It's not brilliant. It has enhanced AP, with, which doesn't add a lot. The hit point pool, it is not very sufficient. So this tank gives you a bit of a depression. And especially if you're playing it as a bottom tier tank in, in the tier 6 matchup, you don't have a lot of hit points to play. You have to be a support tank in the back. And it's even the case if you're playing it as a, a top tier tank. Well then, why Martin, are you reviewing this tank? You want us to club seals in tier 5 in these little tanks? Well, uh, no, that's not what I meant. What I did actually was play the B-43 BIS in um, in the gravity mode. I managed to uh, unlock the B-43 turn my way towards the, the Pantera and then the uh, standard B and the Progetto, even though these tanks are been there. And I decided to, to make a bit of a tech tree video series on this line of tanks, starting off with the tier 5 obviously and then towards the tier 6 and the tier 7 and so on and so on. I've been doing these uh, in the road to tier 10 series but just keeping tanks in the grind, just grinding all the way through, but that doesn't really, I, I don't really like to do that. I sometimes get bored at, at the tank after playing a few games and uh, I unlock a tier 6 and then stop playing the tank for a fair bit. But as said, this tank when Skate Extreme reviewed it at first, he said this brings the growth of pressure to uh, the tier 5 medium style gameplay. Well, come on, it's tier 5. Uh, how does it bring fresh air? It has 15 degrees of gun depression, which is the best in class. And it is that's really good. With, it allows you to, to poke ridges like this uh, very nicely. I mean, I can get that shot on the uh, Sentinel and I miss. But I would have been able to, to get the, so uh, the shot on the Sentinel even if that, that hill had been a little bit longer. There's no worry about that. But yeah, the, the, the Sentinel has a very snappy gun as well, as you can see. And when he's using the added assembly more hit points, then I, I can't burn through a Sentinel, for example. This tank has been power crept too. And it will be power crept even more. Because the heavies will get significant buffs in update 6.10. From tier 5 up towards T9, T10 has been buffed obviously before, and that means that this tank is going to have a lot more trouble. And the reviews that are available on the channel now, on on the channel, on on YouTube, from Meezy, from Skate Extreme, they are out outdated. They are old. They are with the older meta. They were not facing the really big, well armored battle bus T1 heavy. Um, and I was facing it. And I'm not going to say that my video is better than theirs because theirs is still relevant. But this is showing the tank in the current meta. And we've had a lot of players, me included, who grinded tanks in the gravity mode because you did not lose win rate, but you do gain a lot of XP and credits, etc. And that means that you get players in, in these tiers now that just seem to wallow around and float around and, and, and try to drive the tank like, uh, like they did in gravity mode. It doesn't work anymore. <laughs> to be honest, the first game I played in this tank, or basically any tank of the gravity mode, I was thinking, God, this is so slow paced. What's happening with this game? Yeah, it, it is. 
It's got 20 kilometers of reverse speed, the SCRV, the IKEA Tonk. But other than that, it is. It's just a tier 5 medium tank. You could play a Chino and have practically the same type of gameplay. You could have a. And for Sherman, have the same type of gameplay. You have to get through this tank. Um, you have to endure the Lago as well. You have to play this tank to get the P43 bis and then all what's and all toward the, the Tur and the Pantera and the Standard B and then the Progetto. Our track is here. They could break any minute. Are there any other redeeming features then on this tank? Well, let's put it this way. It is... It is... Yeah, it, it is a tank. The DPM is good. The penetration on your AP isn't that brilliant because we have 110. Then again, the Wi-Fi at T34 and Scavenger get 110 as well. The M4 Sherman is a bit higher. The Pantera gets 110, but you get a an enhanced AP round, giving you 144. And most of the other tanks get rounds that do a lot more. 177 on the Sherman, 156 on the T34, 130 only on the Scavenger, but 160 on your Wi-Fi T34. And it bites into your DPM as well, so that is pretty annoying. The aim time isn't that spectacular, dispersion goodish, but it is, yeah, I don't know. I've, I've reviewed the videos and, and uh, skates out, I had so much fun playing this tank. Well, yeah, I like gun depression tanks. I like uh, tanks that uh, have snappy guns. This one, as a top tier tank, it isn't that snappy. As a bottom tier tank, it's even worse. And, and you will bounce the occasional shot like I'm doing here. And if you have full gun depression at 50 degrees, the top, uh, part of your turret becomes a bit bouncy, but you do have to cupola on top, and it, it makes the gameplay just so very slow and stagnant. Just look at this, and there's two and a half minutes into the game, and my team is nearly completely dead. Their team has lost four tanks. It just just doesn't work, and this SU-85 is a rolling forward. You think, oh, I'm a tank destroyer now. I'm going to destroy some tanks. And he's getting destroyed himself nearly once. Two shots into him. That's just really annoying and on the law the first game i showed you there weren't any su 100s or su 100 wise on the on the red team or kv2s or any big guns basically nightmares etc if you get hit in this tank by any of the tier 6 tanks you will be facing except maybe a combo or so not, not any but a lot of the tier 6 tanks that you will be facing they knock a third of your health off and you can see I have to cut into my enhanced AP to go through the front of this T1 Heavy. And I, I can kill him, but I just don't have the hit points left anymore or the DPM to be able to kill uh, the T34 and then the Wi-Fi T34. <sighs> it is... it's just such an underwhelming tank. I really think it is underwhelming. It, Make no mistake, if people say, oh, I really liked it, it was a really good tank, Breath of Fresh Air, just, it just, it just wasn't. It, it's not a breath of fresh air. This is a tier 5 tank, you have to play it really cautiously, especially if you're bottom tier. And this is not a frontline brawl, it hasn't got the really quick firing gun of a uh, Type T-34, it hasn't got the, the, the penetration values of... of of the better guns at, at tier 5. I mean, the Chinu has 124 on, on its AP. I wouldn't recommend getting that towards the front line. The Sherman has 128. Still wouldn't recommend getting that towards the front line. But that one has gun depression as well. I mean, 12 degrees, 15 degrees is better, obviously. But 12 degrees is workable too. And then there's a little fact that this tank has a god awful camo rate. It is a medium tank, I know that. Oh no 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 you no you're not gonna do that. Yes, there we go. We should go inside. I mean that's a fixed gun tank destroyer and uh that's gonna be no problem. But if that tank, an issue one on the Y, cuts into his premium ammo, he will uh just punch through me, no problem whatsoever, and he will deal more damage. And I think if he would do a max roll with this uh ammo, then he might even be able to uh to kill me in one shot. And that same 4KV2s, obviously. So the, the, the competition, the, the playing field for an SDRV M42 is just... Yeah. I don't know. I would recommend using 3XP to, to get at least the top winners on the stack quickly. Or just uh, play it in, uh, in other 
most coming up wargaming have already stated on i think instagram or facebook that uprising mode is coming soon uh because somebody said oh this gravity mode already well uprising was coming soon so you can then play this tank and, and grind it for free and not lose any uh win rates etc but other than that bit of an underwhelming tank and i decided to play it anyway a few games just to show you what you can do with a tank and, and let's say uh, that's uh, 15 degrees of gun oppression that's just great if you move backwards quickly enough and then yeah you just wiggle a bit then people might miss and then you have to shoot them again and you roll for 171 so you have to shoot them again come on mate come on come on come on come on yes 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 there we go lovely stuff and i got shot by him as well Anyways, uh, the miss is uh, gonna roll in, he's gonna clear that T-34, this uh, should be all in the bag. No, that wasn't part of the script, the uh, Biss was gonna roll in and clear the T-34, I have to do it for myself here! I will clear the T-34 then. But now I realize that that Asher 100 y is on top over there, the KV-1 is doing something. Oh, he's shooting the Asher 100 y that's good, that's good. And the Asher 100 y then is missing, or hiding behind the building. But I gave you one is keeping him distracted, so that's good. I'm gonna load my enhanced AP and the SU-100Y is behind a haystack and it's dead. Now, thank you very much. It's three versus one. That should be all in the bag. And it is two versus one. This might not be in the bag. Just as of yet. The gave you one is then gonna jump off the cliff or he's gonna balance on the cliff. Oh, what's he doing? Well, anyways, allows me to flank and I roll one roll around towards the back of the T-14, shoot him and hopefully get five kills. There we go, there he is, yes, there we go, into the butt. Thank you very much. Five kills in the SCRV M-42. And as I've stated, this tank, it is just a tier 5 medium tank, which has a gun and it has two wheels on the turret that look quite cool. And it has got 15 degrees of gun depression and if you can make that work, it's decent, but other than that, not not a really not a tank to be remembered let's put it that way thank you very much for watching ladies and gentlemen tankers of the universe i catch you all on the next video cheers and happy tanking